This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we will be taking a look on the flipper as I said in the thumbnail and also as I have posted a tweet about it. So definitely we are going to take a look on the flipper zero what we can do with it and all these things and yeah this is now available in India too so make sure you watch this until end and also there are a few videos that I can't mention in the I'm mentioning them in the link below in the description so make sure to check them out but before going to the video we are having announcements here we are having the android bug bounty course launched after the 11 successful batch of beginner bug bounty courses and also with four or five successful batches of advanced bug bounty this is the android bug bounty course out here finally as you guys were asking it from a long time so yeah it is launched you guys can take a look on all the contents here and this content is not all yes this is not the all content we are having uh, many more content in this we are having a lot of things Advanced Bug Bounty Batch 5 is also launched, so you guys can take a look on that. This is all the contents. Yes, so Advanced Bug Bounty 5 and Android Bug Bounty, both of them will be providing you certificates and many more resources. You guys can already take a look on it. So, let's get in the video. So here we are having flipper zero and it is you guys can check out the link in the description and this is what we get from it like a USB cable one very cool sticker something like quick start with a dolphin on it technically a flipper dolphin and then the flipper itself so let's take a first look on it looks like when it turns on So we are having a lot of things in it like apps, sub gigahertz, RFID, NFC, infrared, GPIO, I button, NKB, UF, U2F, extreme, and a lot of things are there. So we will explore as much as possible in this video. So let's try something with the phone. Let me turn on my Bluetooth. It's already on. So in the applications, we'll go to Bluetooth, then the VLK spam, and let's try for. Apple action model. Let's see what it is. Okay, so it is doing some sort of you know a pop up bomb or something like that. As you guys can see this thing. Okay, let me just take a look on cross. So it's technically a good thing. Let's try a few more attacks. So let's try for some more thing. Go to apps. Then we are having Bluetooth once again. Then the same one, BL spam. Now we are trying for some Windows thing, but let's take a look here. In Windows, we need to turn on our Bluetooth. So let's turn on the Bluetooth. Yes, we are having the Bluetooth on here. Now let's see what this attack is going to do. Windows device found. Okay, so it is going to spam this type of things repeatedly. Oh, that is nice to know someone. Let's try one more thing. We are having an AC out there. I hope you can see this thing. So now we are trying for an infrared attack. Now let me just try infrared, universal remote, then AC. Okay, so it's loading, right? Now let me click on the temperature one first of all. I hope you can see this thing, the temperature one. It is going on. Okay, so the AC is started now. I hope you can see that thing. Yeah, the AC is started. Let's try for turning off. Okay, so we just need to click on the off there. Here is the off one. Okay, so it's off now. So yeah, we are able to use the universal remote and all those features here. And still we can do a lot of things with it. So look, Flipper is not just about uh, 
hacking acs and all this universal remote things it is having a lot of things you need to add frameworks into that adding frameworks can bring more tools you know you have seen the reels of just attaching a type c cable to iphone can just crack the password with posting so yes we can just uh, do that type of attacks too in the upcoming video we will show you how you can use the additional uh, how you can add the frameworks what are the frameworks used for and multiple things obviously so this is a basic thing we have seen but after all there is a lot more that we have to explore like as i if i just take a look on it i have also done the card but yeah obviously i have to remove that part because of policies but if you want to still take a look on it with all the details blurred out you guys can take a look from the video mentioned below and that was for it thanks for watching like share and subscribe and don't forget to take a look on the android and advanced bug bounty courses see you guys in the upcoming video